Today I receive all of God's love for me. Today I open myself to the unbounded, limitless, overflowing abundance of God's universe. Today I open myself to God's blessings, healing, and miracles. Today I open myself to God's word so I would become more like Jesus every day. Today I proclaim that I am God's beloved, I am God's servant, I am God's powerful champion, and I am God's awesome kid. And because I am blessed, I am blessing the world. In Jesus' name, Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Come on kids, it's worship time!
Merry Christmas in advance, awesome kids! It's December and I am so happy to be with you again. I am Teacher Sheila and I am here to share God's loving message for you today. We are now in Talk 11, Foolish versus Wise. Our big message for today is, While you're waiting, God is working. The Bible says that Jesus died on the cross and then he came back to life again. After that, he went up to heaven to be with God. Before he went up to heaven, he said that someday he would come back again. He would come back to earth and get all of the people who loved and obeyed him. He would take them back with him so they could live in heaven too. So, Jesus will come back someday and take us to heaven. When do you think that will happen? Could it be today? Could it be tomorrow? Could it be 20 years from now? No one can answer that question. No one knows when Jesus will come back to earth except God the Father. No one knows when Jesus is coming back. But there is something we do know. Jesus said to get ready. How do we get ready for Jesus to come back? We get ready for Jesus by obeying God and by loving Him. Are you ready? In the Bible, we read about a time when Jesus was teaching people to get ready for when He comes back. To help them understand about getting ready, He told a parable. A parable is a story that helps people to understand something very important. Here is the parable. Once, there was a big wedding. The wedding was so big that there were 10 bridesmaids. The bridesmaids all helped the bride get ready for the wedding. Weddings back then started at night. Everyone knew that sometime during the night, the groom would come to the bride's house and call out for her. The bridesmaids would hold out their oil lamps so that the bride and groom could see each other. The groom would be so happy to see his beautiful bride. Everyone would keep holding up their lamps so that everyone could walk down the streets all the way to the groom's house. Then there would be dancing and eating and lots of fun celebrating the wedding. In Jesus' parable, he narrated what happened when the ten bridesmaids helped the bride get ready for the wedding. Five of the bridesmaids were wise. They knew that sometimes the groom would wait a long time before he came to get the bride. So the wise bridesmaids brought extra oil for their lamps. They wanted to be ready even if the groom came very late in the night. The other five bridesmaids were foolish. They did not think about bringing extra oil. After the bridesmaids got the bride ready, they waited and waited for the groom to come. They kept their lamps lit so they would be ready when he comes. As time went by, the bride and all of the bridesmaids got sleepy and fell asleep. Then someone shouted, Here's the bridegroom! Come outside and meet him! The bride and all of the bridesmaids woke up. They fixed their lamps to make them nice and bright. The five foolish girls noticed that their lamps had run out of oil and had burned out. They asked the wise girls for oil, but there was not enough for them to have some too. The foolish girls had to go and try to find more oil for their lamps. They did not get to go out with the bride to meet the bridegroom. They did not get to walk down the streets to the wedding feast with all of their friends. They were too busy trying to find oil. When the wise bridesmaids and everyone else arrived at the groom's house, they went inside and began the celebrations. The groom shut the door and locked it so no strangers could get inside. When the foolish bridesmaids came to the door, they were not allowed in. The groom said he didn't know who they were. Right now, we are waiting. If you notice, all ten bridesmaids fell asleep, both the wise and the foolish. It's normal to get tired. It's normal to feel discouraged. It's normal to doubt God. But hold on, because at the perfect time, God will come. We don't know how long we'll wait. So, let's ask God to supply us with extra oil for our long journey. Let us ask Him for extra patience, 
extra perseverance, extra faithfulness, extra obedience. While you're waiting, God is working. I am praying that you'll have a wonderful week ahead, kids. Thank you for listening! Happy Sunday, awesome kids! I hope that you are all doing well. By the way, Teacher Abon here for our activity. Today, we'll learn that God's timing is very different from our own timing. His timing is always perfect and for our own good. Teacher Sheila also told us about the parable of the ten virgins who prepared oil lamps while waiting for the bridegroom to come. Some of them wisely level up their preparation by bringing extra oil for their lamps, just in case the bridegroom came very late in the night. We are likewise called to be wise as they were, preparing ourselves extra well for the coming of Jesus and celebrating His birth this Christmas. Now, to help you remember our lesson today, we are going to make a paper lamp craft for our activity. The materials that you will need to prepare include colored papers or construction papers, ruler, scissors, writing materials, stapler, glue, and materials to decorate your paper lamp. To start, fold one sheet of colored paper in half lengthwise, then take your ruler and draw lines from the fold, leaving an inch from the end of your line and the edge. Remember to leave about 3 fourth inch on each side. Next, cut on the lines you drew stopping when the line ends, but not reaching until the edge. Remember to be careful in your using your scissors, kids. To continue, unfold your paper and you may either write ways by which you will prepare yourself while waiting for Jesus, or you may write our one big message for today on the spaces available. You may also decorate your lanterns with cut-out or punch-out stars to remind you of the star of Bethlehem. When you finish in writing and decorating, assemble your paper lamps following this next step. With the folded bumps on the outside, connect both ends of your paper but turn it inward and attach at the top and bottom. Then staple both the top and bottom a couple of times. You may also attach a 1-inch strip of paper or cardstock for your handle. That's it, awesome kids! You now have a paper lamp craft to decorate and replicate as you wish. That's it, awesome kids! You now have a paper lamp craft to decorate and replicate as you wish. We, your teachers, Love to see you kids, so please ask your parents or your guardians to take a photo of you while holding your paper lumps and post it in the comment section of the FIS PICC AM Awesome Kids Ministry Facebook page. Always remember our big message for today, while you're waiting, God is working. Thank you for your time Awesome Kids. God bless you always and keep safe. Let us now prepare to thank our God by putting ourselves in His holy presence. Let us pray in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for this wonderful day. Thank you, Lord, for our work and play. Thank you, Lord, for all the things that we have learned today. Send forth all the saints and guardian angels to guide us on our way. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Bye! See you next Sunday! See you next Sunday! Stay safe! God bless you! Bye, thank you!